Hi everyone, welcome to the Flower Factory. We're going to do a cool design. We're going to use the beautiful, beautiful Phalaenopsis from uh, Ichthys Flowers. It's called Beaumonde and has a little white edge that, that almost seems to glow. And we're going to use it in this base. This is like a base of two plaster shapes. I connected them together with some bolts. Uh, put two tubes in. Um, and that's going to be our starting point. I'm going to put this away for a moment because first I want to show you something else that I prepared a little bit but I want to show you the technique. We're also going to use these feathers. These are white feathers from the uh, ostrich. So basically I have candle wax here. I'm going through the candle wax. You see like this. And then I'm going to hold it like this. Of course, when we have to do a lot of these things, a lot of these feathers like this, then we make like a base where we can place them in, so you don't have to hold them and wait for them to dry, because that can be, well, time consuming. Um, but you see already that the effect that the uh, feather is getting is really like a cool, mysteric, mysterious like uh, effect we can see the individual parts of the feather going down because of the heaviness of the candle wax. So could be a very interesting uh, detail in your design. So I'm going to put this away, let it dry for a little bit longer, put this away and we're going to work on uh, our design. Hot candle wax, don't need it anymore. So let's start with our base. We have two structures and I have this material and basically this is, I use it quite often, this is again PVC tube, uh, the bendable tube and I've just given it a little plaster uh, cover and I'm going to clamp them between the tubes and the material and of course with everything we have to be careful but in this case also let's see if we can stick it in a little bit give it a little bit of a bend that we think is cool and like any structure in the beginning it can be tricky it can be difficult but it's always possible maybe you have to try it once or two maybe sometimes things break but my mother always said, Pim, if you don't try it, you will never know if it will work. So we already have like a bend going this. So I want to make this part a little bit more heavy. And I'm going to fix these things, these tubes with the plaster. I'm going to fix it with a tie rib. The white ones, for me, I think in this case, they are the least noticeable so that's the reason why I chose but of course you can do like the aluminium small aluminium wire the silver one just again make your own choices this is just to inspire you to give you maybe one or two ideas let's see where we're gonna make the connection I think about here so while I'm hiding behind this design, <laughs> I'm already thinking about the next steps. So again, I say it every now and then, that when you do a design and you work on something, try to think of the next steps when you're in the process. And in this case, one of the steps is placing one of these beautiful, beautiful phalaenopsis. And we're gonna make sure that they stay exactly where we want. Ah. And I have three, but maybe two will be enough. We will see. And this is already really cool. I have some more of these feathers, so we're gonna use them too. And we're gonna basically make the whole movement stronger to one side. I will turn it later on so you can see it with what I mean with making the movement a little bit more stronger. 
high already. And the nice thing is with these feathers, we can also make sure that the flowers are still in the place that we want them to be. So I think we're gonna add one more. I think we're gonna do it just about here to make it really heavy, really powerful. Of course, we have to see if it will stay in that position, and it does. And, well, this is already really cool. Well, at least it, it's impact. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this how to make. Try it, uh, have fun with it. Try to work with different materials, the plaster, the tubes, and just see where it takes you. See you next time here at Flower Factor. Bye-bye.